Hey everybody, welcome back to the Entitled People Show. Today we're looking at some entitled parents acting like children. My, my, a naked man is out early this morning. He saw me. I'm gonna need someone close to this area to keep Sophia Monday and Tuesday, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. and maybe some weekends. I can pay $20 a day. I'm picky about a babysitter, so if I don't reply, don't take it personal. This is just a very good opportunity for you to work 65 cents an hour. Woo! Sounds like a like a steal of a deal. Good luck out there. Cheers to my son's teacher at blank elementary school for giving my son detention after he threw a fit because she refused to give him another color marker that wasn't a color for girls. She gave him a purple dry erase marker to do his work with and wouldn't give him a different color. Guys, purple is a gay color. That's for, that's for gays. Boys can't use that, didn't you know? So I asked her if all the students in the class had a purple marker to work with, she then says no. She then reached in the bag and gave him a color and then says she don't teach her student to color discrimination for certain genders. So when I asked her, the moment you took your hand out of the bag before giving him the marker, you saw that it was purple, why didn't you just give him a different color that was more suitable for him? God! She says, I didn't look at the marker, I just gave it to him. I said you had to have seen the color in your hand right before giving it to him. But my son is right and he knows what he's been taught and what colors are suitable for him as a boy. So why would you give him a purple marker? Don't give my son no purple or pink colors or colors and designs that are highly suitable for a girl because he is a boy and he is not in any way, form or fashion confused about his gender and neither will you teach him to be. And I tell all of my son's teachers not to give my son nor send him home with folders, pencils, prizes, t-shirts or etc. That is of a girl's nature when you can clearly see that my son is a boy. Give him colors and items that are suitable for a boy. Tell me how you really feel, Karen. So grateful for the cash we have received for Ari to see Marilyn Manson. <laughs> but to see that no one has done anything on GoFundMe is just frustrating. Why the frick are you guys so fricking selfish? Ariel's photos get likes, people comment on how cute she is, but not one of you has made an effort to make this happen for her. This crap isn't even for me really, I've seen him five times. This stuff is for Ariel. Humans, selfish, self-righteous, jerk-offs. Yeah, I'm a butthole, but I help people when I can. Y'all are lame. God damn it, frickin' people. I'm taking her or without anyone's help. And according to this Reddit post, this is a parent who wants to take, really, really wants to take her two-year-old daughter to see a Marilyn Manson concert. <laughs> is that like allowed? <laughs> uh, I thought he was kind of like, like, you know, PG-13 and up, you know what I'm saying? I think it's, it might be best if she doesn't go PBH. He's, he's kind of an intense guy, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that a two-year-old really cares whether or not she sees Marilyn Manson. I think, however, that you really care about seeing Marilyn Manson and you're using your daughter to get tickets to Marilyn Manson. Is that is that right? Did I, did I get that correctly? Hey, this is Choose and Beggar. Blank said that you were the one who painted the lovely art in Blank's room. I showed it to my daughter and she really loved it. It would mean so much to her if you'd be willing to paint one for her too. I'm glad she liked it and I would love to. I should have some time free next weekend if that works for you. This weekend would be even better. Would it? Is that that work for you? Does that work with your schedule? I'm sorry, but I have to work this weekend. Couldn't you do it after work? My child is very excited. I promise it would be done by the time she gets back from her dad's. Why did you promise her that if it didn't happen yet? I really can't, sorry. I finish work at seven and you live over an hour away. So? So I would be really tired by the time I get to yours. But like I said, next weekend I would be free. My daughter would be really disappointed. I'm sorry to hear that, but I really can't do it this weekend. Fine, just do it next weekend then. Okay, how big did you want it? And did you want a similar thing to the one I did for blank or something else? Sent some room pics? Yes, exactly like that. But could you add extra vine things to the side? Question mark. Hello? Question mark. Sorry, I was just feeding my cats. But yes, I can add the extra vines. Did you want the same colors as well? Or did you want to change them to match the rest of the room? Thank you so much. 
no problem. From what I can see, it shouldn't take me much more than six hours, but since it would take around three hours for travel time, it will have to break it up into two days if that's okay. No, that is fine, as long as you get it done. Since I already have the paint, I won't charge you for it, but you will need to cover my time and fuel though. What? No, that's not right. Blank said you'd do hers for free. I did, but she's my goddaughter and I did it for her birthday. Plus she only lives a few minutes away from me. That's not fair. Do you still want it? Fine. How much? 165 pounds should cover it. That's ridiculous. Way too much. It would cost me about 65 pounds just on travel costs alone. 100 pounds is for my time. I'll do 65 pounds and that's being nice. That should be more than enough just to paint some flowers on the wall. Uh, I'm sorry, I really can't do it for 65 pounds. Sorry. You are so selfish. You know I'm a single parent and you try to charge me 165 pounds for painting a wall. It is because I know you're a single parent and I didn't charge you for the paint. With the paint, it would have been closer to 200 pounds. BS, you're just being a female dog. 65 pounds, final offer. And that's the best you're gonna get. Naked man is flashing me with his iPad. It's hurting my eyes. Put that down, sir! No, we're done here. Bad word for female private parts. Oh, goodness. I swear, if the children knew, they would probably be embarrassed. So we live next door to what we would call pretty close friends. Our kids are the same age, go to the same school, and are in the same class. We have been friends with them since before our kids were born. I am a full-time out-of-the-house working mom. She's a stay-at-home mom. Our kids ride the bus together every morning. I have to pay a sitter to come to the house to get my child on and off the bus every day. Never once has she offered to get my child on the bus. She would have my child about 45 minutes in the morning before they actually get on the bus. This has been all the school year. If I fall into an emergency and my sitter can't, and I ask her, she says yes, but I'm just really hurt she has never offered once. Another example, the other day the storm knocked wires down and the bus couldn't come down our street so the school asked if I could bring my kid that morning and drop them off. Now I know my friend got the same text and crickets. I mean you could ask her, ask her that, ask her how she feels, ask her for a favor. I don't know, bring her some pie and be like, you know, this would really help me out. Don't just go complain about it on social media. I don't know the context of what's going on. Sister sent me this and she was blocked immediately after. It was great watching Blank and Blank today. I enjoyed them. Do you mind if I swing by tomorrow at 2 p.m. to collect the money? I wasn't aware payment was involved. You got free ice cream and a day of fun. I'm sorry for the misinterpretation. Um, we discussed payment of $16 an hour beforehand over text. I'm sorry, um, could you show me those tags? I'm gonna need to see a screenshot. Great, see you then. $16 an hour sound fair? <laughs> she literally is the one that offered it. Perfect, I'm looking forward to working with them. I'm excited. Blank seems to have a knack for you. Go easy on him. Ha ha ha, I will. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Of course, call or text if you have any questions. Will do. Thanks again. I delete my messages often. I'm sorry, but as much as I love seeing your kids, I'm doing this for payment, exclusively. Well, you're acting kind of stuck up, aren't you? Can we compromise at $20? No. <laughs> I watched your kids for eight hours and we agreed on $16 an hour. $128 is the total. I'm not paying you $128 for a single day. They're easy kids. It's not a discussion of that. You promise and I have textbooks to pay for. Please, I would accept $100. Absolutely not. I wish I didn't have such a stuck up word for female private parts watching my kids. I am going to block you now. Please do not contact me again. Are you serious? I wonder how you ended up with such great kids when you're such a psycho yourself. <laughs> I provide free tutoring to students in my program with disabilities. This parent made me want to quit. Hi, is this the free tutoring service? Hello, please respond. Hello, my name is. And yes, I can provide two hours per week to students in the blank. If they have a learning disability. Two hours is not enough. You should be ashamed for not helping out those in serious need. <laughs> Unfortunately, between my job, school, and an internship, it's all the time I have available. I take on four students and I'm already tutoring three. I can't devote more than eight hours per week. I just don't have the time. If your child has a qualifying disability, you can hire a tutor up to $20 an hour and the government will reimburse the cost. Would you like more information? No! 
I didn't want more information. I want you to devote <laughs> more than two measly hours so that my daughter can actually graduate. Hi, I'm sorry, this service doesn't meet your requirements, but it's something I do on a volunteer basis with my free time. I've had enough of your lies. I will be reporting you to the Dean. Good luck saying goodbye to your precious job and career. All the success in the world would not make you a better person or help you with yourself if you can't give time to those in need. I gotta be honest, that would make me wanna quit too. That's messed up. Thinking you deserve a full salary for babysitting your own kids while they do schoolwork. Ooh, goody. Goody, let's see. Where can I submit my invoice to get my teacher pay since I'm now teaching at home? Hi Ryan, we don't pay parents slash guardians for virtual learning. Teachers will still be providing lessons to those learning at home. But if you're interested in being paid for educating and would like to see all the challenges teachers face during the pandemic, please consider being a sub for us. The pandemic has made it very challenging to attract subs because most people don't want to face the challenges teachers currently face. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good response. So y'all, times have changed since I was a kid. A family, four kids, came up in the stairwells trick-or-treating. No big deal. Unfortunately, we gave all our candy out already. Their parents asked us to give them money? Five euros a kid because they were disappointed? <laughs> what the hell? Rude <laughs> people around here. Oh, if only, if only. You could totally run a scam where you just like, I wonder if anybody would agree to that, you know? Give me money because you don't have free candy. This, this is some BS, okay? This is not what I signed up for. I was promised that there would be candy. No candy, pay up. Can you make a male babysitter pay child support? I don't think so, but go on. I'm a single mom going to college with my sister. A couple of weeks ago, I asked my neighbor, a nice guy, if he could watch the kids for two hours while I went to class and my sister wasn't home, and he agreed. If he babysits and doesn't accept pay, can I sue him for child support because he took on a fatherly role? I'm sure I can convince a court that he accepted a fatherly role, which is how who owes child support is determined in my state. Additional details, the real dad died in a car accident almost seven years ago. I really, really sympathize, but that's messed up. Really messed up. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I think that's enough for today. Cool, don't do this. You know, I, I, I think that life must be really hard as a single parent or just as a parent in general, but don't take advantage of people being nice to you just cause you have a kid. That's not fair. Makes you look like a child yourself, all right? This has been Sailor Moon Says. Okay, well, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna go make some uh, breakfast. Subscribe!